welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen. And before we get into today's video, we've got a fantastic announcement about the latest online Yellow Belt course that we've just released. If you go below this video, you will see the link that will take you straight to that Yellow Belt course. And it will also give you access to a 24 hour limited discount offer on the price of this course. This material contains all the techniques that I use 90% of the time with my clients. If you want to start to become a world class technical problem solver, this isn't just a certificate, this is world class skills buried in this course, then this is the course for you. We are delivering some of the best skills online anywhere in the world. Click on the link, get the best yellow belt course you'll ever see right now. Welcome to the latest video. And in this video newsletter, what we're gonna talk about is the four self-inflicted business wastes. So, the four business wastes. Now, I, I discuss wastes uh, a lot with uh, people, especially the lean wastes. Is it seven? Is it eight? Is it five S? Is it six S? And finally, I decided, well, if it's possible to invent your own wastes, I'm gonna come up with the four self-inflicted business wastes. So let's talk about what these things are. Well, they are these. The first one is FMEA. The second one is ISO 9001. The third one is 5S. And the fourth one is SPC. The four self-inflicted bureaucratic business wastes. Um, now, why do I call them business wastes? Well, I, I call them business wastes because of the way companies tend to use them. So what's happened in a lot of cases, why do they use this stuff? Usually, because the customer says so. Sometimes they're doing things like FMEA because ISO 9000 says so. But often, They've been imposed on them, or a senior manager said so. So senior manager, yeah, managing director's been to see some brilliant company and I've come back, oh, I know what we need to do, we need to do 5S. Um, and they've just, they've just imposed the technique on the company. And they become ineffectual. And if they're ineffectual, they're business wastes. Because what's going on? FMEA is often a paperwork exercise. It's often after the fact. Yeah, so it's after you've implemented the process. Usually after you've implemented chaos. So usually the process is going terrible. And uh, we do the FMEA to just capture all the nonsense that we've implemented. Um, ISO 9000, what is it? Well, we've just had the Olympics. Of course, we know what ISO 9000 is, don't we? It's the gold medal. It's the gold medal to be won for 11 months and two weeks of the year. We completely ignore ISO 9000. And then for a two week window when the ISO 9000 auditor is due, we completely forget about everything we're doing at work. It doesn't matter what it is, how important it is, it doesn't matter. The ISO 9000 audit is due and we've got to win the gold medal. And what do we make sure we do? We make sure we hide from the auditor every problem that we've got in our company. In other words, we hide every opportunity we've got to improve and we make sure that this guy never sees it. And then when he's been around and had a look, he awards us the gold medal and we go, Phew. and now we go back to doing all the crap we were doing before. What's the, what's the point of that? If it's a paperwork exercise, 
You've got some highly trained people sitting in a room for three days arguing about this thing, or you've got an engineer sitting at his desk for three days just filling out crap. It's a paperwork exercise. It's a business waste. If you just use ISO 9000 as a gold medal, wow, that is a massive business waste. Think of all the effort you've gone to to put all the documentation in place just to win a gold medal. Oh, here's one of my favorites, 5S. What do you use it for? Housekeeping. If anybody turns up on one of my Six Sigma courses and tells me that they use 5S for housekeeping, they are shot on the spot. Um, what a waste. 5S is a control tool. It's a visual management technique. And it, by the way, it helps ISO 9000 do its job as well. Because what's a ISO 9000? ISO 9000 is the policeman that helps you to make money. We'll talk about how these four business wastes, the self-inflicted business wastes, make bucket loads of cash. Because yes, these are the things that world-class companies do, and they do them really well, and they use them to make bucket loads of money. But you know what 99% of companies do? This is a paperwork exercise. This is a gold medal to be won. This is housekeeping. And finally, this is a paperwork exercise. It's done after the fact. It isn't done live at the point of activity. Yeah, so it's done, it's done after you've made the product. You just fill the paperwork in usually, send it to the customer because the customer's asked for the paperwork to be done like that. If you treat these four world-class processes like this, you just waste bucket loads of cash. I mean, there is money just draining away from your company and there is no value in any of these. When what should be happening is, they should be part of your world-class way of making bucket loads of cash. Because what's missing from all of these tools, potentially, and this is what I see in most companies. So let's talk about how to make money with these four world-class tools. Because what's missing is this diagram. This is missing from most companies and their thinking. Right in the middle of your company, you have a process, probably several of them, that you're using to try to make money. I'm going to call this process thinking. This is the centerpiece that makes these valuable and not business wastes. So at the center of your company is this process. We've got process thinking. Process thinking should be in everything that you do. And then you have to attach these four tools to this process. The reason why these are business wastes is because what you've got is you've got them floating, independent of the money-making process. They're just floating up here wasting cash having no effect on your business when actually what they should be is attached to this because world-class companies they understand that your process has inputs and outputs they understand that the way to get control of this diagram and to make bucket loads of money is to control this side of the diagram FMEA designs controls that fix the inputs. And if you fix an input, the laws of physics say you're going to fix the output. Where do you want to fix the output? Usually on target to please the customer. So step one, you use FMEA to generate brilliant control plans. Okay, so now you have a world-class control plan designed to make money. Then what happens? 5S steps in. What does 5S do? You visualize. 
you visualize all the rules as many as you possibly can so you've designed world-class rules then you visualize the rules by the way there's no flipping housekeeping in this yeah so don't get me wrong if you're a food factory and you've got to keep the place clean being clean and therefore being um, illness free when you're selling the food is really important to you but generally manufacturing companies come on folks who wants to do this every day 5s you visualize the rules so you've designed money-making controls then you visualize the money-making controls so that anybody can audit them then what do you do you use ISO 9000 to audit the rules so you've designed them you've visualized them you've audited them and finally SPC is the backstop to efficiently find any abnormalities so if you have a new operator and they've missed out on something missed a bit of training they're not fully fully up to speed with what they've got to do and they start producing abnormalities over here ISO sorry SPC will pick up that non-conformance it'll pick it up early it'll pick it up efficiently what do you do when you find an anomaly you audit the controls that's what that's what root cause is by the way when you're doing root cause when you do root cause analysis on a process that's been set up in a world-class way you get a problem what do you do you audit the controls usually one or maybe two of the controls is beginning to go out of control for some reason you can look at the reason and then you can improve your controls make them tighter make them more um, definitive about what you're doing so you've designed the rules you visualize the rules you audit the rules and finally you use a technique to spot for any anything that's got through the gaps that's what SPC is doing it's the it's the backstop and then you audit in order to find root cause there are the four world-class management tools for your company but if you allow them to float completely independent of the money-making process they are the four self-inflicted business wastes think how much you invest into this think especially these three think how much time and effort you invest in those three tools right there if you use them do you make money from them because they are money-making monsters but they are bureaucracy and if you don't get them attached to this thing and make some cash they are the four massive business wastes guys get some process thinking into your company start to utilize these wonderful tools in the proper way and let's get rid of the four business wastes and turn them into the four money-making monsters